Ahí está el teacher ya. Ahí está ya. Oh, well, hello. Hello, hello teacher. teacher. Good hello. afternoon. Good afternoon. How hello. are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Excellent. Day. Great. I'm ready for class. Okay, great. I'm glad you are here, Poncho. Okay, maybe a few minutes early. That is great. That is awesome. We will begin here in about what? One minute on the 12.58. So one yes. o'clock we will begin. So just get ready. Two minutes. Yes, be ready, right? So that way we can give time to the ones that are going to enter. Mm. Right? Que aún no han entrado. Teacher. Two minutes. Yeah, you can ask me, Ricardo. I, I found my books. <laughs> All right, very good. You have your books right there, right? Yeah. Great. Una consulta, teacher. Y yes. el formulario para el siguiente módulo, ¿cuándo lo tendríamos que enviar? O ellos nos van a enviar el formulario. Eso sería... Para que la... completemos sí. más del 80%. Eso sería... Uh... No. Mm. Eh, hay que... El 29 dieron como fecha última. Hoy, 29 de julio. Ok. Eso parece que le mandaron a cada uno de ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí. Correcto. Ok. Ahí, ahí no tengo yo como decir, eso ya es administrativo, right? Ah, Pero, okay. sí. Entonces lo voy a volver a mandar a solicitar porque yo quiero abrir el archivo y dice que ya no está disponible. Ah, pues quizás entonces ya lo uh -huh. mandó, ya lo envió. No, no, uh -huh. lo, no lo mandé. Uh -huh. mm. Ok, ahí sí que, uh, I don't know what, 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 uh, ahí no. Ah, sí, ok, la... entonces voy a consultar. Sí, uh -huh. sí. Eh, ahí me imagino que la persona que le mandó esa información, había un número ahí, ¿verdad, Ricardo o Ingrid? Yes, yes. Okay. Sí, sí, ajá, ahí, okay. entonces lo voy a consultar a, a esa persona. Yes. Thank you. Ok, no problem, so trate de no esperar incluso hasta el último día, right? Por oh, cualquier okay. cosa. So if you want to do it today, terminando la clase or whatever, eh, try to get in contact, cualquier inconveniente administrativo, eh, trate de resolverlo lo más pronto posible. Ok. Ok. okay. De acuerdo. Great. Esa sería mi sugerencia. Let me see. Ok. So we will begin here. Now remember yesterday we saw the we were talking about adjectives right we're talking about adjectives y al final de la clase de ayer we're talking about adjectives what are adjectives what are adjectives que son adjetivos what 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 are they right what are you seeing we just seen for description okay very good very good adriana did you have something to decir algo Ya lo dejo, Ricardo. Ok, great. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> ok. Anyone else? My, your, his, her, it, our, their. No son adjetivos. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Our pronoun. Ok. Those are, esos sí son adjectives, but tienen su propia categoría, right? Do you remember what those are? Posesivo. Ah, very good, right? Very good, right? Esos son posesivos, okay? Yesterday we saw adjectives, lo que es nomás la palabra adjective, que describen, they describe, right? For example, we we're talking about, she's a pretty woman, right? He's a handsome man, right? He's tall, que describen a personas, objetos, o? Oh, it describes person, Place. Places. Very good. Excellent. Yes, that is correct. Places or things, right? Person, places, or things. And that's when we use the regular adjectives, right? Remember yesterday I told you that they don't change, right? They don't change whether it's singular or plural. No hay cambio si es singular o plural, right? And remember I mentioned that in the future, you will see the, the comparative adjectives. Y al futuro van a haber otro tipo de adjetivos, el comparativo y el superlativo, the comparative and superlative. They do have a little bit of change, okay? But for today in beginner, 
Again, beginner one, we're going to look at the adjectives of how you can describe. Como ustedes pueden utilizar los adjetivos in a way that you can describe other people, okay? Other people or things, okay? Or cosas or lugares or places you can describe. For example, if we say El Salvador is a beautiful country, right? Salvador es un país hermoso, right? It's a beautiful country. We're using an adjective, okay? Podemos decir El Salvador es un país, right? Pero le ponemos un qué? Un adjective para describirlo, right? Those are adjectives. Now I can say, um, what other adjectives? But I know that yo mis propios ejemplos. What about you? Can you give me some adjectives related to what we saw yesterday? Describiendo otra persona. Or okay. Your, or yourself? Or um, mm, my bro, my boyfriend and brothers are handsome. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Adriana. Good job, good job, right? Excellent. Así es. That is correct. Right? Anyone else? My mother is very hardworking. Okay, very good. Hard work, very good. Excellent. Excellent, very good. My now, brother is very tall. Very tall, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. My sister is short. Very good, Raquel. Very good, excellent. All right. Anyone else? Alguien más que quiera su your own opinion or description? The teacher is well organized. Okay, well organized. Very Orga good. Organized. Very okay. good, excellent, Ingrid. Thank you. All right. Very good. That is correct. Good. Good uh, usage of adjectives. Right. Good uses of adjectives. Now, you can say like Ingrid, atrás de, podemos ver atrás de Ingrid, right? Uh, the room or donde ella está is, what color is it? ¿Qué color es ahí atrás? Claro. White. White, very good. So white is, ya que vamos a ver colores, we're going to see colors today also. We can start using colors too, okay? And white is an adjective también. Okay. The room is white. Está describiendo el cuarto o la casa, right? So you can... Um, dark too? Uh, yeah, okay. Dark, yes. A dark room, right? You can say a dark room or si apago la luz ahorita and it gets dark, I can dark. say dark, dark okay. room, right? And it's describing. It's describing. Let me see. Um, We're going to... Okay, that was just... colores no, no, no describen un color específico, ¿verdad? Sino una, una, una condición. Uh -huh. eh, eh, describe una... Oscuro, claro. Una textura, right? A texture, a texture, right? That is visual in the eyes, right? So that you can see. What about um, today's date? Today's date. Ricardo, empieza. Begin. Today's right. date. Today date is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. Very good, perfect. Jessica Carrillo. Hello, Jessica. Hello. Uh -huh. Yes, the today day, Wednesday, July. Pero tengo que ver el calendario. Ah, ok. <laughs> 24. Ok. Ok. 2021. Ok, cerca. Pretty close, Jessica. Ok, close. Adriana. Today's date is Wednesday, July 28, 2021. Very good, Adriana. Very good. Yes. All right, let me see. Mm, Carolina. Today's day is Wednesday, uh, July 28, 2021. Very good, excellent, good job. Let me see, Ingrid. It's Wednesday, July 28, 20, 
2021. Very good, Ingrid. Very good. Yancy. Wednesday, 20, July 27, 2021. Okay, cerca, cerca, la fecha de ayer, Yancy, es la que me dio. Okay, let me see, Jessica. Jessica. One more time. Usted me dio la fecha como del viernes, no sé qué día me dio. All right. Uh, All right. Me dijo 24, sí. right? All right. So let's continue. Can you give me the date? Jessica. Puede ver el calendario otra vez si quiere. Ok. Jessica. Yula es ahora es miércoles, Wednesday, July. O este, ahora es 24, ¿verdad? Mm, no 28. Sé. Yes. Ah, 20, 28. 20, 21. Ok, Jessica, very good. Ok, Yancy, one more time. Wednesday, July 28, 2021. Very good, very good, good correction. Now, <clears throat> let me see here. Boop, 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 boom. Okay, so we have the topic for today. Now remember, at any given time, cualquier momento de la clase, I can ask you for the date cuando entremos. So be ready, be prepared. Let me see, Gabriela, can you read the topic, please? Adjectives, flores, boca, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ok. Vocabulary. Vo vocabulary. Vocab vocabulary. Uh -huh. Color. Very good, very good. ¿Y la fecha ahí ya que? Tenemos? Wednesday, July eh, 28, 2021. Very good, excellent. Good job. So we're going to be finishing up the adjectives from yesterday. Ok. No es que lo vamos a hacer de nuevo, it's just a little practice. You're going to do it speaking. Speaking, not writing, no nothing of that nature is going to be speaking, and I'm going to give you the direction. And then we're going to look at closed vocabulary. I'm going to the platform. I even have a video on the platform. We're going to look at closed vocabulary. And then colors, okay? We're going to focus on colors and the proper pronunciation and how to use them in sentences. Today's class is number nine, okay? Class number nine. Let me see. Um, remember uh, that we will have class tomorrow. Okay, quiero aclarar esto. Déjeme quitar la pantalla aquí. Quiero ver quiénes están aquí. Okay. Tomorrow we have class, right? Mañana es el último día de clase de esta semana. Next week, next week. No sé si les dije ayer el horario para las vacaciones. No. No, ok, great. Fue en la otra clase que lo mencioné. All right, en las otras. All right, so, since we're here, si quieren tomar nota, all right, no me quiero equivocar yo, déjeme mirar yo mi calendario también. <laughs> I don't want to be like, oh, teacher dijo esta fecha, ya ve, right? Ok, now. Tomorrow is the last day for this week, right? Tomorrow is the last day of this week. But next week, la próxima semana, tome nota, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, right? Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco de agosto, que sería la siguiente semana, lunes, martes, miércoles y jueves, no hay clases. Ok. No hay clases. Así es que espero no vaya a llegar un mensaje. Teacher, el lunes están diciendo que por qué no hay clases. Estoy right? conectado. No, nadie está conectado. Estoy solo aquí, right? Bueno, así va a seguir si se sigue conectando. Solo, right? <ríe> right? Or you can look the videos. Si quieren entrar y ver los videos, you can, right? But there will not be class. No hay clases. Two, okay. three, Four and five. Regresamos el nueve. El nueve sí. Okay. All right. The nine. 
10, 11 y 12. Ahí seguimos normal. Para el 10, óigame, para el 10, tome nota aquí. Para el 10 de agosto ya tienen que tener terminada la sección 4. Ok. Section 4 must be finished para el 10. La sección 5 tiene que estar terminada el 16 de agosto. Right? 16th of August. Para el 16 de agosto, que es un lunes, ya tienen que tener terminada la sección 5. Y, y el final. No nomás la, la tarea, sino que el final exam, el examen final, el, key, el 16 de agosto, tiene que tener la sección 5 y el examen final completo. <coughs> completo. Right? Complete. Complete. Right? Y lo estoy diciendo todo en español para que después no le entendí muy bien al teacher. Right? Right? So, estas son las fechas claves. Te espero después. Ya después de esas fechas, I'm sorry, ok, lo único que les puedo decir, eh, lamento, right, cualquier inquietud o inconveniencia que ustedes tengan para el proceso, para el siguiente módulo. Una cosa es que esté en papel y una cosa es que ya esté escrito, finalizado al final, ok, son dos cosas diferentes. No porque ya mandé el papel o ya me dieron esto, ya, eso, eso no significa que ya, ya tienen todo libre, no, tienen que al final, si no llegan al 80% de la plataforma, ahí se para todo. Y no lo para nadie más que ustedes. Recuerden, no decir, oh, es que mire, que, que, no, no, desde hoy se los digo, ustedes se van a poner su propio paro, right? Y no quiero nada de eso para ustedes. Así que desde antemano les digo, el 16, ahora es el último día para que hagan todo. El, el 5, no es que a, cuando llegue esa fecha voy a empezar a hacer la 4, la, no, ya tienen que tener hecha la 4 y nomás le faltaría el, la sección 5 y el examen final para el 16. El último día de clase es el 17, que es el martes. O sea que el último día de clase, we can do like a review or something y that's it, all right? Si no tiene completado, lo tiene completado o no, ya depende de usted. Right? Ahí ya no, ya se, ya se termina el, el módulo y ahí nomás se espera que usted ya ha completado el último requisito. El último. Right? Ya todo estaría en orden. Imagínese, ya todo estaría en orden. Nomás usted le faltaría ese requisito. Ya la papelería está hecha, ya todo estaría listo, ya programación, nomás si usted ven, ah, no ha llegado a este requisito, pausa ahí para usted. ¿Ay? O se encarga usted de hablar con la administración. ¿Ay? Y no lleguemos a eso. ¿Ok? Y no lleguemos a eso porque todo queda registrado. ¿Ok? Everything is registered. Todo queda anotado. Se llamó a tal persona porque no hizo esto. Y ya queda como un registro de qué tipo de, 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 de avance o progreso usted está haciendo cada vez que entra un módulo. ¿Ay? Y ahí dice, ah, esta persona como que ya tiene una tendencia. ¿Ay? Y no, 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 no permitan a llegar a eso. All right. So, aclarando eso, el último día de clase es el 17 de agosto. ¿Ok? Es un martes. Right? Y el 16 ya tienen que tener todo completo una vez más. Ok, class. Let's continue. All right. Uh, so, next week, no class. Ok? Next week, no class. That's great, right? So, enjoy your vacations. Okay. <laughs> All right, great. What happened? Uh -huh. Ah, <laughs> llegando bien, Tammy. Okay, dígame. No, 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 no podía conectar los audífonos. Sorry. Okay. Escucharlo lejos, de que parece que la otra semana no tenemos clase. Sí, no tenemos clase. Lunes, martes, miércoles y jueves. Sí. Ah, toda la semana. Okay. Yeah. Iniciamos ya el lunes uh, 9. ¿Ok? Right. Ah, yo bien, yo bien emocionada. Es que no me íbamos a decir de, de, de hawaianos o algo. Ah, no. no. Uh, we won't have class next week. No hay clase la siguiente semana. Ok, teacher. Ok, okay thank you, Sammy. Gracias. Ok. Let me see. Ok, let's continue. We were doing the adjectives yesterday, right? 
Eh, he's very, he's really tall. Bueno, primero, ¿pueden ver la pantalla? Yes? Okay, great. Yes. Okay, this is what I want you to do. This is a speaking activity, right? Esto lo vimos ayer. So, no es que vamos a empezar de nuevo otra vez. Ahora lo vamos a poner en práctica. All right, for a few minutes, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms, okay? Lo voy a poner en breakout rooms. And what I want you to do is, um, you can take captura, lo pueden compartir en los breakout rooms. Le voy a dar acceso. Sí, ya tienen acceso para que comparten pantalla, if you want, right? So, you can use this vocabulary. Usen este mismo vocabulario. And what you're going to do is describe, describe people you know. Como lo hicimos al inicio con Ricardo y algunos de ustedes que participaron, que dieron sus propios ejemplos. Use as many people as you like, right? Trate de utilizar uh, más personas posible. And you can use um, family members, friends. Anything, anyone you would like to talk about. And you're going to describe. Try to use as many. Try to utilizar la mayoría de estos adjetivos. Talkative, good looking, funny, shy. Y ayer les di una palabra nueva también que era tímida. You remember? Yes, timid. Timid, yes, all right. You can add your own. Pueden agregar sus propios también, right? If you know more, yeah. Adjectives, hey, there's a lot, right? Vamos a pasar tres horas con adjective, right? But for today, let's practice on some of these and describe people, right? Describe people you know. Now, you're going to use this for practice speaking skills, all right? So you'll be able to communicate and speak using the adjectives. So I'm going to put you in breakout room if you want to take a picture. Si le quieren tomar captura, aquí está una vez más. Because I would like for you to use those adjectives. Okay, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And let me see. I'm going to put you in groups of three. Okay, groups of three. Okay, ready? I'm going to give you like maybe a few minutes, okay, when I close. So try to eh, rotate, okay, rotate. Quiero que rote, rotate. So cuando, when one student finishes, cuando un, cuando un compañero o compañera termine, sigue el otro y el otro y regresan de nuevo, right? <clears throat> que no uno esté diciendo por cinco minutos todo y después el otro, no. Rotate, rotate. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, Okay, when you do the speaking. Ready? Alguna pregunta, alguna pregunta, inconveniente. Any sure. question? Yes. And then we can, what's time, the real? Excuse me? Um, um, we read what time say? Real. No. No, you're going to. Examples. Okay, no, you're going to speak. You're going yes. to speak, yeah. Okay. I'll have last okay. example. For example, All right. usted temprano, Ricardo, when yes. you come yes. early, right? Those types of examples. My mm -hmm. my sister is really tall, right? Yes. Next one. My brother mm -hmm. is short, okay? My girlfriend is pretty, right? Or the table is small. Yeah, the table is small. My okay. house is really big, right? You can use different forms to describe people, places, or things, right? Yes. All right, you can describe, como les dije, El Salvador is a oh. beautiful country, right? So you can describe, and then you, all of you are giving examples, examples, examples. Okay, okay. I'm understand. Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo, for asking. Okay, ready, enter, please. <laughs> Breakout rooms. Entren, por favor.
Yes? Repeat, please. My classmates are great. Is correct, teacher? My, my classmates are great. Is yes. Lo que dijo? That is correct. Yes. Okay. Are great. My daughter are very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. San Miguel is a very fat city. Very hot. Very hot. 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 Very good. Okay. Que le confundo con, como con sombrero. Hot. <laughs> hat, right? Hat. It's hot. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next. Jenny. Your turn. No sé si Your se... microphone. Como que tiene la señal un poco right, mala. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> My son is funny. Okay. Very good. My husband is, uh, is a good cook. Okay. My there is chore. My what? Carolina. Me escucharon. La última cocinó. The last one I couldn't hear. There is short. 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 Uh, little. Okay. Who? 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 Husband. Oh. ¿Quién? ¿Quién dijo que era? Short. My sister. Ah, my sister. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, Eduardo, did you already gave yours? Ya viste los okay. My brother is funny. My mom is pretty. What happened? Hello, Adriana. Hi. Hi. Creo que me sacó la plataforma. Ah, okay. Do you remember? <laughs> let me see. Con quién estaba? Con Tammy y Gabriela. Con quién? Gabriela y Tammy. Y Tammy. Okay, I'm going to put you back. Okay. Que habla eran ellos. Habla. Okay. Please re-enter. Okay, Mayensi. Mayensi. Hello. Disculpe, licenciado, ahorita voy conectándome. Ah, ok. Ok, let me see. Bueno, ya estamos haciendo la actividad en grupos. Eh, maybe you can go y la voy a asignar ahí. And maybe you can listen to them, ok. Let me see. Room number five. Ok, ya casi terminamos con esta actividad, pero quizás puede escuchar un ratito, ok. Please enter. I am. Uy. Hola. Sí, la ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí, oh, okay. Sí. I am uh, serious. Serious. Okay. Oye, lo okay, sí. Raquel. Hello, Raquel. Eh, <risa> el A lo puede omitir, por favor. El artículo. I am serious. I am serious. Ok, puede, okay. puede incluir el A si después del adjetivo le va a poner algo, algo más. Por ejemplo, yo soy una persona seria. Ahí sí. Uh, pero, yeah. pero no puede. Uh, ok, uh -huh. te voy a decir cómo se escucharía así. I am a serious. Yo soy una seria. Mm. Yo soy seria, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, uh -huh. si le quitamos el artículo, se oye bien. Ahora, lo puede poner si va a incluir la palabra persona, ¿verdad? Yo soy una persona seria, ¿ok? I am a serious person. Person. Pero si no va a poner la palabra persona, va a tener que quitar también el artículo. Ah, Yo muy bien. Seria. I am serious. ¿Ok? Bien. Ok. okay. All right. Thank okay. you, Raquel. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Eh, ya iba el otro compañero. Ya había puesto yo todos mis ejemplos. Uh, okay. And this is Francisco, right? Okay, Francisco, it's on you. Hello, no escucho. I don't Hello. hear no one speaking. Hola. Hi. Hello. Ya dijimos las oraciones, ahorita solo estamos eh, practicando los adjetivos, pero con colores. Ok, very good. Remember that you can... Uh, uh, ¿Y Mayensi ya dijo las de ellas también? Ahorita ella va, va entrando. No, ella no ha dicho. Nada. Ok, all right. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, welcome back. Están entrando, voy a esperar que entre todos de nuevo. Let me see. Tum, tum, tum. All right, great. Okay, great. Okay, let's continue. I hope you did uh, some speaking. And remember, remember that when we do a speaking activity, cuando hacemos una actividad de speaking, right, evite a ponerse a escribir, right, porque eso pausa el progreso, right. So try to be like, si la actividad es speaking, no es una actividad escrita, all right? It's speaking, so all you have to do is think, think, think and speak, think and speak, think and speak, aunque se equivoque. Why? Porque eso está habilitando las, las aptitudes propias mentales con el progreso del de, 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 aprendizaje del idioma inglés. Cuando usted se empieza a, lo digo porque... He tenido diferentes tipos de alumnos, right? Algunos prefieren escribir, right? Y está bien, right? Pero lo que pasa es que usted después va a agarrar como una, eh, una costumbre, right? Y después todo lo que va haciendo, el módulo 1, 2, y así, va, así se va a ir adaptando. Cuando llegue a intermediate, ahí va a ver que es todo diferente, right? Y va, le va a costar más. ¿Por qué? Porque ya se acostumbró a hacerlo de un modo. Right? Remember, hay cuatro macro habilidades. Yes. All right? Eso es importante que lo sepan. Right? En la área didáctica, en la área pedagógica, right? educativa, yes. there are four macro abilities in the language. ¿Ok? ¿Cuáles son right. esas cuatro macro habilidades? Speaking. All right? Reading, writing, listening. Very good. That is perfect. That is correct. When you can balance, le voy a dar un consejo, right? Porque nos, a nosotros nos cambian, right? So, esté o no, ustedes van a seguir, igual que yo, 
right? Siguiente módulo. But, que les quede algo quizás eh, importante en este punto pedagógico. Listening, como lo dijo Ricardo, listening, speaking, writing, and reading, right? Los pueden mezclar, no cambian, son cuatro. When you can balance, y este es un consejo para la adquisición del idioma, right? When you can balance, cuando usted puede balancear estas cuatro macro habilidades, se le va a hacer mucho más fácil la adquisición del idioma. Right? Cuando usted empieza a desbalancearse, yo por eso les doy speaking y a veces les hago writing, a veces les hago reading, right? and, and, and then I speak also so you can listen. Si ustedes pueden ver, yo soy bien balanceado, right? I give you action to speak, listen, and then write. Y a veces les digo, mándemelo así. Por eso nunca les he dicho, mándemelo en texto. All right? Right? Because it's, eh, lo están textando y a veces se equivoca el autocorrector, lo corrige incorrectamente. Right? So, when you start using that, lo tengo que escribir, lo tengo que escribir, créanme, al final usted se está regresando en vez de avanzando. ¿Por qué? Porque de las cuatro macro habilidades, usted está utilizando más una que las demás. Y la que, la que después al final va a querer usted avanzar es en el speaking. Right? Y es la que menos utiliza. Y es la que más, cuando esta actividad es de speaking, es la que yo solicito. Right? So when I enter rooms... Y no nomás en esta clase, en muchas de mis clases, cuando yo entro a los breakout rooms, a veces noto que hay una pausa porque están escribiendo. Right? Y la, la actividad era speaking. Right? So that means, aunque usted se equivoque, está utilizando mind, el mouth, mente y el habla. Right? The speaking. Siempre voy a utilizar la mente porque para escribir lo está pensando. ¿Right? ¿Pero qué? Lo va a escribir usted para que después lo lea. Es ok hasta cierto tiempo. ¿Right? But llegará el momento que no va a tener el papel ni el lapicero para escribir. Ejemplo, en una entrevista de inglés... Cuando le hagan la pregunta, usted va a decir, espérenme, déjenme escribir la respuesta. Right? Y va a empezar a escribir. ¿Por qué? Porque ya se, ya se auto usted, eh, es la autodidáctica propia. Right? Ya me acostumbré a hacerlo así y después le va a costar el habla. Right? So avoid that. Right? Tómelo como un consejo. Right? Quizás algunos ni caso me van a hacer y van a seguir así, pero después van a ver el progreso de algunos que no lo hicieron versus lo que sí lo hicieron así que se ponen a escribir. ¿Ok? Un consejo nomás. ¿All right? So remember that. When you do speaking, siempre lo va a pensar. Recuerden eso, ¿verdad? Right? Bueno, ¿y por qué lo tengo que escribir? Tiene razón el teacher. Si lo estoy pensando para escribirlo, ¿por qué no lo pienso y lo hablo? ¿All right? Ajá. Let's continue. Now, here, <clears throat> Now we did this one, right? Practice speaking skills using adjectives. And now we're going to do colors, okay? We are going to do colors and let's practice some of these. Now here is going to be reading and speaking and listening, right? So que vamos a hacer the three. Reading, speaking, and listening. All right, let's white, white, white. Significa white. blanco, right? White. Yellow. Yellow. Let me see. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. Yellow. Yellow. Very good. Orange. 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 Red. 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 Very good. Pink. 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 Right? Que significa rosado. And then you have purple. Purple, purple, right? Mm -hmm. Purple. Then you have color violet, 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 violet el color violeta, right? Yeah. Now, I'm giving you here in the plataforma, hay otros colores también, but I'm giving you a little bit extra here, okay? Violet. Then you have green, green, 
Verde, right? Pretty good. Turquoise. 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 All right. Yeah. Este es, ¿qué color en español? Turquesa. Very good. Excellent, right? Sometimes in, a, in the Lago of Cuatepec, right? Right? And you can <laughs> find this color right here, right? So if an American comes, you can tell them, yeah, turquoise, right? Turquoise, right? Yes. Y like, y como se dice turco, esta palabra en inglés, right? Ya la saben, turquoise. Then you have light blue. Light blue. Light blue, yeah. All right? Blue. 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 Brown. 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 Okay? Gray. Gray. Que es gris. Yes. Then you have black. 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 Que es el color negro. Okay, I'm going to call on some of you. Voy a llamar algunos de ustedes. And I want you to do the first three. Yancy, Beatriz, do the first three. Pronunciation, please. White, yellow, orange, orange. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Yancy. Francisco, next three. Yeah. All right. Pink. Purple. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Tammy, the next three, please. Violet. Green. Turquoise. Very good. Very good. Tell me. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Turquoise. Excellent. Good job. Um. Du, 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 du. Let me see. Christian, next three, please. Mm, light blue, blue, brown. Very good. Excellent. Eduardo Andrade, last two. Um, gray, black. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Now, those were, those were colors, right? Those were colors. And now let's go to the, let me see. I'm going to share the videos in the platform, okay? We have some little bit more extra ones here. And what I want you to do is just listen. It's only two minutes. Son dos minutos nomás. And then we are going to do a small activity. Okay, one, two, three. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait! It is mine. It's a disaster! Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, 
Okay? And you notice what happened with the clothes. Huh? ¿Qué le pasó a la ropa? What happened to the clothes? ¿No qué le ha pasado eso a ustedes? It's a disaster. Yeah, right? So the jeans, yes. the jeans change the color of the other clothing, right? Some white, yes. turned, right? Blue with it, right? Se les pegó el color azul a la demás ropa, right? So there's a problem, right? There's a problem right there. Especially when you go to a washing machine, when you use a washing machine. Now, these are very common in the United States. People have washers and dryers. Now, this, this is just clothes with colors. But now, we saw colors. Let's look at clothes, vocabulario de ropa. All right? Let's look at that. Sure. If hi everyone, in this class you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the <clears throat> image towards the left hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. <clears throat> okay, so what did he say right there? Que fue lo que dijo él en el, en el audio? video this is work ropa para el trabajo right yes. here on the left on the left al lado izquierdo close for leisure right side like whenever you go to a park or you go out salir actividad well. yes thank you very good that is correct so close for leisure and close for work let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary close for work <clears throat> Shirt, tie, belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Jeans. Gloves. Boots. Cap. T-shirt. Shorts. Socks. Sneakers. Pajamas. Swimsuits. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. Okay, in this now. class you'll learn suits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned for leisure. For example, we'd like for you to talk about the club. Okay, now I'm going to call on some of you. Okay. If you want to participate, you can raise your hand. All right, in in the Zoom app here. And what I want you to do is think about what do you wear for work? What do you wear for work? What do you wear for your leisure time or at home or when you go to the park or any other activity that is outside work? or any activity that you might do at any uh, any place that you decide to go out, right? Cualquier lugar que ustedes se ir, how do you go dress? ¿Cómo se visten ustedes? How do you dress at work? Let me see. Voy a llamar a... Nidia. Hi. Hi, hello, Nidia. What what items of clothing 
that are here, or if they are not here, you can add them, okay? Si no están aquí, la puede agregar. I can help you. What do you wear to work? I wear... I wear a blouse. Blouse. Jeans. Blouse. Blouse. Okay. Jeans. Okay. Shoes. Okay. Are they high heels? Okay, zapatos or tacones? No, zapatos. Okay, zapatos. shoes. Okay, very good. Very good, Nidia. Si, ya me dio tres ella, right? Very good. Now, high heels son tacones. Okay, high heels that you can see here. And then shoes, they're just regular shoes. Now, let me see. I'm going to call on <laughs> Jessica. What do you wear to work? I do wear to work a uh, blouse, t-shirt. Okay. Or, or t-shirt. Okay. Uh, shirt, uh, shoes. Okay. And blouse. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Good job. Good job. Adriana. Okay, I wear to go. Um, blue. Blouse. 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 Um, skirt. Okay, skirt. Um, and high heels. Okay, high heels. All right, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Let me see. Anyone else? Christian. Yes, teacher. Okay, what what do you wear at home? Uh, a shirt. Okay. Uh, shorts. And sneakers. Okay, very good, very good. Now remember, you have sneakers, or you can call them tennis shoes también, right? Los tenis, como le decimos, right? Very good, Francisco. Good job. Anyone else that would like to participate in... Uh, Describing and the shirt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that for work or at home? Al trabajo yeah. o a la casa? Trabajo. Okay. So at work. Okay. Okay. Very good. What do you wear? T shirt, you said? What else? Jeans. Okay. Jeans. A sneaker. Okay, very good. Thank you, Francisco. Very good. Excellent. Now, let me see. Can you describe, Ricardo, start describing eh, lo que lleva puesto usted, right? Give me two things that you're wearing y, debo, y luego del color. Okay, I'm wearing a cloth for work. Okay, very good. Uh, we are a shirt, a shirt, a pant, shoes, a belt. Uh, my shirt is light green. Okay, very good. My shirt my is... pants is black. My, my pants are. Or yes, all right. Thank you. My pants are black. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Ricardo. Very good. Carolina, ¿puede escribir algún artículo de ropa, please, that you are wearing, que usted está usando, or, or extra, what you do at work or at home, what you're wearing? Um, I go to work and uh, jeans, jeans okay. blue. Blue jeans. And blue jeans. Blue jeans. Yes. Uh, the chair is white. Okay. Very and good. high heels. Okay, very Black. good. Okay, Black high heels. Black high heels. Very good. Eh? High heels. Yes, right. And tacon. Very good, Carolina. Good job. Good job. Tatiana. Uh, I wear. I wear, uh, I wear, I wear, I wear shorts and 
t-shirts and flip flip flops. Okay, flip flops. Okay, very good. Okay. What color, Tatiana? The colors. Uh, the colors white. Okay, white. Okay. All right. Very good, very good. Tatiana, dio una color. Very good. At least one. Very good. Anyone else? Alguien más que quiera give their description in colors? My dress is orange. Okay. My shoes is pink. My shoes are. My shoes are pink. Very good, very good. Okay, very good, very good. Um, Jessica. <clears throat> now, this was pretty much a way to describe clothes, colors, and we also saw adjectives. Okay, can someone give me a little bit more? What about places, lugares? What about places or things? All right. Alguien puede agarrar un objeto ahorita y ponerlo en la cámara. Danubia. No lo he escuchado mucho hoy. Uh, uh, select an object. Seleccione un objeto and put it in front of the camera, right? Like I have it here. I have a blue and green marker, right? Dos colores, ok? All right. Cell phone. Ok. Mobile. Ok. Y el color? I have. My, myself. Okay, my, my cell phone is is black. Very good, very good. Ahora sí, mirar el, el papel. Dígalo de nuevo. My, safe, my cell phone is black. Very good. Ya ve que no necesito mirar ahí. Very good. <laughs> yes, very good. You see? But you have it here. Aquí está. Right? So, repetition. Repetition helps also, right? Now, can you find another object? Danubia, puede escoger otro objeto o demostrar algo diferente with another color que no sea black. Mm -hmm. Su camisa. My, okay. My notebook is yellow. Very good. Purple, pink and <laughs> light, light, light blue. All right. Very good. Danubia, very good. Excellent. Good, good. Excellent. Good job, good job. Yes, perfect. Anyone else? Mayensi. Mm, my paper is black. Okay, very good. Now, anything else in your your shirt, your blouse? Your okay, mm. first of what color is that? My teacher. Okay. Teacher. Is eh, green. Green is verde. Ah, um, rosado. Pink. Pink, right. perdón, pink. Very good. All right. So repeat it again. Repeat, please. Hola. ¿Lo puede repetir, por favor? My, My teacher is a pink. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Very good. Anyone else? Anyone else? Alguien más? Hi, teacher. Okay, Ricardo and then Carolina. I have a remote control. Okay. White remote control. Very good. White remote control. Very good, Ricardo. Carolina. These are my yellow earrings. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good, Carolina. These are my yellow earrings. Okay, Raquel, parece que tiene ahí algo, right? Hello, Raquel. Uh, my, notebook, my notebook is uh, brown. Brown, brown. Brown. Okay, brown. Repeat, repeat, Raquel. My, my notebook is brown. Excellent, good job, Raquel. Mayensi, quería demostrar algo más? Did you want to show something else? Okay. Bote no sé cómo se dice el... <laughs> Ok, bottle, water bottle, botella de agua, right? My water, o oh, puede decir la botella, my bottle, right? My bottle. Oh, yes, my bottle, right? <laughs> my bottle. It's my bottle is a blue. Ok, no vamos a poner el A. 
¿ok? El A. El A no lo, lo va a quitar, ¿ok? Porque si pone el A, my bottle is blue, así. My bottle is blue. Very good, excellent, good job, very good, very good. Excellent. My shirt is blue. Very good, very good, excellent, Tammy. <laughs> very good. Yancy, quería poner algo más? Did you wanted to add something? My bottle is sky blue. Okay, very good. Sky blue, yes, right? Color del cielo. Very good. Good job, Yancy. Tatiana? My mall is green. My what? My mall is green. Mm. Verde. Okay, pero, ¿qué es eso? Un molde. A ruler. Es un molde. molde. Ah, okay. Mold, mold, uh -huh. mold. My mold is green. All right, very good, Tatiana. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let me see. Richard. Yes, Ricardo. My dog we can are use white. contraction or no, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Lights, lights, and the object of my my object is the color, for example. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. You, you, you can use it both ways. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, estaba mirando ahí Nidia, que she was showing some dogs, right? Nidia. ¿Era usted? Hi. Okay. Los perritos. Vamos a verlos. Yes. The, this dog uh -huh. is white. And <laughs> this dog is... Kaiser. Uh-huh. What color is it? They Black, black and brown, negro y café, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Black and, black, black and, brown. Black and brown. Black brown and white. All right, brown and white, y el otro is brown and black, right? Okay, good job, Nidia, showing us those little dogs, right? Los animales. Teacher. Yes. And um, I listen, uh, it's me. flip flop. Flip flops, okay. Uh -huh. flip -flops. What, what, what? Flip flop means. Okay. Flip flops, they're like, uh, no sé si las pueden ver. They're like pantufla. Chancla. Como, como pantufla. Santón, santón. Right. Pantufla. Yeah, similar to those, right? Yeah. Que All right. Pla, pla, pla. No, tiene, ah. no tiene sostén atrás. O sea que, ah. right? Hay una que atrás se le amarra. Those are flip flops. <laughs> yes, right? All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My class, Violet. Okay, all right, all right, very good, very good, Ingrid. Now, my cup, my cup, right? My cup, ah, basto, my yeah, cup. Yeah, ah, okay. Cup, right? My razor. Glass, like, mm -hmm. glass, Ingrid, para que se... Es de vidrio. Es de vidrio, yes. All ah, right. okay, okay. All right, Ingrid. My cup. All right, otro que tiene... Ese es my razor, like gray. Okay, okay. My eraser is light gray. But esas son tijeras, right? Sí. Scissor. Scissors. 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 Scissor. 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 Very good. Excellent. Good job, Ingrid. Okay. Very good. Good participation. Good speaking. And remember that we will continue tomorrow. Okay. And finish. Yes, we are finished. And I see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, Nidia, for the little dogs. Okay. So. I see you tomorrow and thank you everyone for your participation. Well done. Okay. Siempre progresando en el idioma. Los felicito y las felicito a todas y a todos. See you tomorrow. Thank you for you. All right. I see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.